people always ask me what do i do day in and day out when i'm not making videos or buying sneakers or whatever it may be but <laughs> it's actually funny because i'm about to go buy some shoes today too so um we're gonna go look at a house and we might have to check up on the airbnb property if not it should be good i think we got people staying there already and then uh we need to go grab some food and we're gonna buy some shoes later tonight too so i'm gonna just kind of take you guys along the day with me earlier uh i washed the car i uh, went to the bank to grab some cash so i could buy some shoes tonight which i'll show you guys later and yeah we're gonna look at a crib and i'm trying to purchase the fourth property so hopefully we can make that happen within the next month or two uh, we're just gonna see how things go i got a meeting with the lender tomorrow and we're gonna start looking at more properties now we've been looking at stuff online and everything so we're gonna be uh pretty raw we're just gonna be out you know in these streets making a little vlog see how it goes see if you guys enjoy this and uh we're gonna be meeting with my realtor i gotta introduce you guys to him i don't know if you guys seen him you probably seen him on the channel before but i'll see you guys when we get to the house and uh we'll check it out and see what you guys think about it see if this is a, another property we should purchase or not and then kind of go from there so yeah see you guys in a minute the world's greatest realtor okay what's happening they might still be in there okay so up here is a room that could potentially be like a sneaker room filming area um i don't know if i can fit 500 pairs of shoes in here but i probably could like use this wall or something and maybe like make it all whole wrap around like an island type thing i usually got to cover the window to make sure that i for lighting to protect the shoes and stuff so this is what floor is this the second floor the third floor there's a floor downstairs too there's three floors and then a basement area yeah. like the adu is down there right so this is like the guest bathroom right uh it's pretty clean pretty modern Low i want to switch out illuminated mirrors for all the bathrooms wherever we buy a house at and i need we got to add a sauna too so we got to find a space to add a small sauna at least and definitely switch out the mirrors see that yeah. you hear that um uh, this is another guest room could be a good um it's bright could be a good filming room with the yeah. daylight this could be good for you probably yeah i don't know where you're gonna put a ton of here though well maybe downstairs maybe there's a uh, the owner suite i don't know tv in here as they should <laughs> <laughs> bathroom good space for her this bathroom um, is beautiful what do you think about the bathroom rated out of 10? I'd say... Uh, I give this a 9.5. I was thinking an 8.5. I give it a 9.5. Because, like, realistically, what else do we need? I like that the toilet is separate over here. Close the door. Yeah. You're taking a dump. I think maybe partially the lip. And I like the newer like tub, the tubs. I like these tubs. Yeah, yeah. I like these tubs. It gives oh, it kind of like a... It's like a clean... It's a clean closet, though. Yeah, because yeah. it's like a new one. Yeah. Like a new version, a new area closet. Showers. Them old ones be small. Yeah. That one's pretty big, though. Yeah, you could fit in there. I fuck with the big window, though. And it's high enough to where I don't have to worry about anybody coming <laughs> like in and like, seeing me. There's a good view. There's a good view. Show the view. It's, yeah, it's not bad. It's nice. There's another room over here, but honestly, like whenever we have kids and stuff, it's this I would keep this room as a nursery because it's closest to the main bedroom, yeah. and yeah. you know, I it's not a big walking distance. I don't have to worry about. Yeah. You know. What you What you think about it so far, based off of what we need? It's just loud. Yeah, I think there's a ton of great features that you know suit your needs, but there's also a little bit of downside with the the noise obviously with the amount of filming you guys are going to be doing that's always going to be something that's you know in the back every of day your mind. Yeah. literally every day so that in the driveway i think and that's yeah, going to be park, annoying in the park because i want to buy more cars too yeah and i'm mm -hmm. like having that space not being able to use a garage right. that's what's coming because it's gonna be like oh god no nah, move i'm leaving and yeah, then you gotta yeah, switch, switch spots, spots and everything yeah. and then the people across the street are gonna be like why are you always parking in front of our house? Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Monty would love this house, though. Yeah, you kidding me? Kidding. But he just wouldn't have no yard or nothing. He has a deck, but though. Take, That's more than we have, have now. He has to go poop yeah. and everything every day. Because yeah. he can't just go outside. It's 
perception of the street is not an answer. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. I would never let him just out and about right. out now there. Right, just open the door and uh, not gonna be an issue. So, this is another little office room space type area. I'm gonna be honest, I don't love this office space. It's close to the street too, and you can hear the cars. Yeah. So, kitchen's cool. Kitchen's beautiful. So if you guys don't know on Alexis's channel, my wife, she uh, she has a channel and I'll be telling her to upload videos, but I'll link it down below in the description if you guys want to subscribe. But yeah, this we're looking for a good kitchen space too for her to be able to like film uh, cooking tutorials and that way, you know, she can cook more meals. Bye, I, I know you're not talking about me cooking. You know I've been cooking. <laughs> No, but we need a aesthetically nice kitchen for different challenges and different stuff, different uh, things to do for her channel and my channel. This is cool space. There's I, a deck out I, here. I, I do like, uh, I don't know, what do you think about this? It's kind of nice. tight. It's small. Yeah. But I kind of like that it's cozy and like the, we we're not models. gonna have we're not gonna have two separate seating areas. We just have like a big ass. We have a big L couch. Yeah. But that couch is big. But that the thing is, but the thing is though, like, right. you know how it is, like in my house, house kind of like staggered. Yeah. And then like people will be in the other room yeah. or y'all just be outside yeah. or something. So how with this kind of functionality, it does make it a little. Would you put it this way or in front like, of the window? Put the TV on I would the put it or something. here. Yeah. Yeah, like, like right. Oh, like not blocking the window. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would basically be just like this. But there would be a seat right here. I don't know. Something to think about. It's open space in here. Let's go downstairs. All right. We haven't seen the downstairs yet. So they said, what did you say there was? A, my bad. They, yeah. the, there's, they didn't get a permit, I guess, for the ADU. So they never permitted the ADU to be down here. I'm assuming this is a garage. Yeah. yeah. So they got a little mini gym uh, space storage down here. It's tight in here. We definitely need a two or three car garage. Like having a one car garage, especially with the small driveway, is gonna be a struggle for us. We got a couple cars, we're gonna buy another car. And y'all got gym stuff. It got a whole gym, we're trying to build out a whole gym in the garage. Yeah. This would be all, all, all gym. gym. All gym, yeah. yeah. And then over here, I'll do like paper bag drop or something. ADU space. So, so ADUs, additional dwelling units, are basically places that you may see attached to the home, up or down or side of the house somewhere. Or sometimes they'll be detached in the back, like a garage converted or something like this. So this is essentially like that. It's like a basement space that turns to another space that somebody can live in. And, um, Typically people like something like this because they can rent it out and make extra cash flow. But they for said, us, we don't need that. They said up to $1,400 a month. Like for yeah. like a regular month. Renting it out, mm -hmm. $1,400 bucks a month uh, towards the mortgage payment or whatever. But for us, we would need it as probably creative space or something. I don't know exactly how this would become a creative space. So. What is this? What is going on there? I don't know. It has a door to the outside separate from the house, teeny kitchen, and then it also has like washer and dryer over here. In life, in life, it would be nice to have an area separate from the house where if people came into town, if they wanted to stay with us, with us, like, right. so we need a, yeah. I gotta think about how it go. Cause I need paper bag drop, I need shoe room, I need her office, I need an extra space, closet. So out of 10, what do you give this house? Seven and a half. That's rough. What do you think? I give it a solid eight. Eight, that's yeah. not that much higher than what I gave it. I give it a solid eight. Solid eight, that's mm -hmm. cool. I don't know, what do you think? I'd say it's an eight. Yeah. I would say the major docking points would be the yard. Um, for the dog especially. Especially for the dog. The type of family we have. And then the, things we do. the garage situation. Uh, you guys want a full gym, obviously. That's going to take the whole garage. And then the street noise, mm. which is the major dock just for the amount of filming you guys are going to be doing. 
Yeah. And if you guys could figure out a way to actually make that, you know, a feasible space right. to film in. Yeah. Cause I, I, I could, yeah. I, I mean, I love the house itself. It's just right. I feel like the aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the aesthetic of it is like what we want, but not the functionality. Uh, functionality, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we said we was gonna look. We've been looking online for a lot of stuff. So. Yeah, I was looking today, and it was just like. It is not like this. All the houses it's are. Been rough. Not to get oh, this look. No. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And this size. Yeah. You can find stuff for like, you know, low two thousand square feet, but they're a little bit older. For right. and the setup is still not exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. And that's the thing, so like we're also like, you know, I could just do the remodel on something. Mm -hmm. so I don't like, have time for that. That's a lot. If we I don't, don't wanna do that, like we don't wanna do that, but at the same time, if we see a house that's like Oh, this is like 50 or 70 under what we will be wanting to have it at, and we can put like 20 or 30 into it. Yeah. I'll be willing to sacrifice those few months and just be like, let's just do that. Yeah. Because then now we have that aesthetic we need plus the functionality. Yeah. So that's like, there's been a couple houses where like we could literally put 15, 20 into it and just make a couple switches mm -hmm. and make it make it better. So, um, I guess you would have to say like, you know, what is that rating at? Like the house has to be at 8.5 right. for me to be willing to go through that remodel process. Yeah. Before yeah, we can't it. really change nothing here. Exactly. Like the functionality of the space. There's no really floor plan that you can right. modify to make it how how functional you need it. Okay. Um let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. It's time to go get some food. Um I am, I like it, but I don't know how much I really, I just gotta think about like the functionality. At the end of the day, if we're gonna move to a new spot, we need to make sure that we are maximizing every square foot of the house and really being able to create more content and do dope things. So it's a lot of things to think about. Gotta make wise decisions, not just like, oh, it looks good. Because at the end of the day, we gotta spend the money to make it happen. And then we gotta put the work in too, so. A lot of things to think about. But let me know what y'all think down below. We need to go get something to eat. I'm hungry. Gotta see what's around here. Check out the neighborhood, see what it's like. Drive around a couple blocks, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you're looking at houses, don't just look on one block. Like, you gotta drive around. See what's going on. What restaurants is around there, what grocery stores. What's happening four blocks down. You gotta see what's up. House one in the books, man. David, tell them what's up, bro. We came and looked at this house. Show them the house, show them the house. A nice house, great finishes, new, up to date. It checked a lot of boxes, but I don't think quite as many as we need for yeah. this lovely family to be as productive as they would like. Um, but it's a good stepping stone. Now we know, got a better feel of exactly what we're looking for. Bro, remember when we was looking at houses when we first started, like a few years ago, when I was one of the first house? We was buying, bro, at we was driving like 20 all houses. around the city. <laughs> 20, we, yeah, we had to look at least different 20 different yeah. houses. That's all I was trying to tell her. But she don't understand. And then it worked out at the and end. And then we found something. So, and we up. And we up. We up. <laughs> exactly. All right. That's so if you guys need to get any cribs or anything, send me a DM or hit him. What's your? Oh, he don't even be on Instagram, bro. Yeah, I don't be on there. Look at oh, him, Jordan my. Lewis. I'm Jordan on, Lewis. I'm on Google, man. Oh, he Google. It. Okay, okay. Google me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll All put right, your, I'll put his info in the uh, description down below. That's what I'll do. Let's I get got a house. You. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Yep. All right. So uh, we're just getting a Hawthorne right now. <clears throat> We're about to go to Harlow, grab something to eat. Hopefully, we can find a parking spot. It's always rushed over here. Is this a parking spot? That's kind of like tight. It? I don't know. You know that thing. Uh, That's kind of ratchet right there. Yeah. This is a better spot. Yeah. You know, when you get in them tight spots, people like to bump your car. Even if I could drive, that don't mean everybody else can. So, it's always smarter to just find a better spot. That way, you don't have to worry about it. I'm just saying. Hey, we got the, uh, what's the name down here, too? We wanted to go sneaker shopping. Just went there. All right. Now, nah, we'll get something to eat. We're about to get something to eat, and then, uh, you don't want to go shopping? I mean, we can go over there in the red <laughs> Nah, we can go, we can go to, like, thrift store or something. We can go to red light. Red light? All right, we'll head to the thrift store, too. Let's go. The dog's in the car. You gotta put the little pet thing on. Yeah, yeah, we got it. He'll be straight. All right, let's get some food. All right. All right, so this is her favorite spot. Well, not yeah, this is her favorite spot. One of her favorite spots. Yeah. Um, this is like a 
What do you want to call this? What type of food? It's like health food. Health food, yeah, yeah. that's basically yeah, what it is. They got trees and plants and stuff in here. Got all different kinds of stuff. It's actually a cool spot. They got some good food. She's grabbing the food. I'm freaking hungry. What's up with you guys? Uh, I know this is a little bit different than what we normally typically do on the channel, but I wanted to switch it up. I know a lot of people want to see the day in the life stuff, and I told you I would do it, so we're doing it. Um, if you made it this far into the video as well, don't forget to subscribe and join the family. We're on the road to a million subscribers, and you could be the next one to get us there. <laughs> I always say that in my videos when I do my reviews, but the food is ready. I'm ready to eat. I'm gonna show you guys what we get. Um, and then we're gonna eat and then we might go shopping because we're already over here So see if we can hit a thrift store or something. And I'll be back y'all in a minute. Oh Yeah, I'm happy. You happy? Yes. I'm so ready to eat All right um, So this is what did we get? We got a farmer bowl half quinoa half rice with tempeh you know, show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Boom. Hey, I'm telling you right now, it's pretty fire. Oh yeah. Let me see. All right, we got her some food. My She's smoothie was bad again. today though. Bad smoothie today. Definitely. So good. Bad smoothie. All right, now what? what, what I still got food in my teeth. We're going to, um, Red light. Red light? Alright, let's get it. Let's get it. Rocking the Prestos. Real comfy. You know what I'm saying? Very, very comfy. <laughs> Neutral gray one lows. Is this your beat pair or your nice pair? My beat pair. Your beat pair? Yeah. We're chilling today. It's bright. It's bright out. Money's in the car. AC's on. He's good. Are they open? Like Closed. They got some good thrift options. Sometimes they be having some. Closed. Damn. They be having some uh, solid options sometimes though. Yeah. All right. What are we doing? Go back to the crib. We gotta go. We gotta go back to the crib. All right, let's get it. Back to the crib. All right, so I just dropped them off back at the crib right now, and I wanted to show you guys a couple shoes before we go to buy some more shoes, but I had some recent pickups last week. I'm gonna show you guys real quick, just, you know, just a couple of random pickups. So it's these four pair of shoes right here. Um, we got the Cactus Corporation, Travis Scott Trainer One right here. Another one right here, we got a T-Mac. This is the LeBron joint right here. These things are super dope. Had to grab those. Hit these on sneakers app. Little Paisley joints. And then we have a, hold on real quick. And then we have a Air Force One right here that I did on Nike ID. Um, I'm actually gonna make a video for this. So stay tuned for these. I'm excited to show you guys these in that video. So some of you guys may or may not know, but I have done $5,000 cash outs at my homie's house. Uh, I'm gonna go do another cash out. This is my third time doing this. So we're gonna go cop some kicks. It's gonna be random. I'm not gonna be able to see everything in until I make the next video, but I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that I'll pick up today and uh, we'll see what we get. Let's go. Alright you guys, so I just got done cashing out. Let's take a quick peek real quick. Oh my, you guys gotta wait. Wait till we get to the house. I'm gonna show you guys everything we got. Okay, so I ended up picking up 55 pairs of shoes and this is what they all are. Now I don't know what's inside all of these boxes. I did see a couple of the pairs as I was kind of moving things and stuff fell open, but I don't know what's inside all of these. It's a mystery and I'm going to find out in the next video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to see what happens. And then the shoes that I decide I don't want to keep anymore, I'm going to let you guys have a chance to purchase as well. So stay tuned for this video. It's always a fun one. I'm looking forward to unboxing these things. <laughs> Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, 
If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. Thank you